Hello, and welcome to this week's Writerly Wednesday, where we talk about tips, tricks, mindset, all things writing. And I am especially here to help answer some of the questions that might be floating through your head, especially directed at you from your internal editor. So welcome to today's session where I'm gonna talk about something that pops up a lot. Now I'll be honest, this pops up a lot when we are feeling insecure in our writing and our internal editor is at almost full volume. And that is, do I need a writing software to help me write, right? We've heard about Scrivener and we maybe have heard about Evernote. Maybe we've heard about Ulysses or Plotter or something else. The truth is, and my personal opinion is they're only good if you need help getting from start to finish. If you think you do, then definitely go in and do a little bit of research about all of these, but it may also be a procrastination tool, i.e. telling yourself that you need something that you don't already have to do the work that you're probably feeling really vulnerable about, which is gonna have you step away from the page. So I want you to be really smart about it. The truth is nobody needs to have a software to write their book or their story, but it can be helpful. So I'm gonna just outline three paid systems and then three free systems. I'll tell you what each of them do. This is by no means an absolute recommendation of any of them because of course, as I've said, <laughs> you can use post-it notes. You don't need a software to do your writing. But if you would like one, and if it helps you feel empowered to get from start to finish, by all means, go for it. So let's start with some of the free ones. So the first one, and I've used this personally, is more of an organizational tool and a bit of a word processor, and that's Evernote. Of course, you have the really handy app, and the reason that I like it as far as organizational tool is you can have a ton of research on there. You can use links, you can add um, actual images. It's great. However, it's not going to put them into order for you, but it is a great central place that you can store everything. And again, if you've got the app, you have access to it on multiple devices free. The second one is actually the Read Z book editor. Um, and this is a little bit of a different one. First of all, I will say, if you've never been to Read Z, I do actually recommend a ton of their articles. I've vetted quite a few personally, <laughs> and I think they are of great value. I can't say across the board, every article do I agree with. However, there's some really great content there. So go check it out, readsy.com. But they do have a book editor, it's free, it's a word processor and a formatter, and you can export whatever you do there to um, Word and to Scrivener, which is really, really helpful. And again, it's free, so you can check that one out. The last one is called Bibisco, or I don't know, however you wanna say it, Bibis Bibisco is how I would say it. It is also a free story planner and word processor. I don't know a ton about it, but what I really enjoy is that it is free. So check it out. Anything that helps you, again, get from start to finish and doesn't cost you a lot, I think that's a great place to start. Now let's go to those ones that you may have heard of before that do have a cost involved, right? The first one and the most popular one, as far as I'm concerned, is Scrivener. Now that is a story planning tool and a word processor. What's great about it is a lot of people use it to actually help plan their story and their structure. The second one is one that is less heard of, except I hear of it a, 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 about it a ton, and I don't know if it's just because of I, I've been in the publishing industry for a while, but it's called Plotter. Um, all the links will be below, by the way, but Plotter without an E, so P-L-O-T-T-R. And this is also a story planning tool, but what is especially interesting about it, and this may be helpful in editing as opposed to necessarily writing that first draft, but it's got story 
templates in it, structure templates rather. So the hero's journey, romancing the beat, a 12 chapter uh, mystery, um, it may have snowflake method, story circle. So at the very least is worth checking out. Again, it is also an app and it can be used on your phone. But what I love is that rather than you having to think about the structure, it has multiple options and you could potentially overlay your story in those different structures just to see how it feels. The other thing is, to me, it feels a little bit like an electronic version of the post-it notes. You can give colors to certain things, to characters or feelings and different things in your story and you can switch it all around. I love that part. There is a cost involved. Um, and the last paid option, which is a similar cost on a yearly or an annual basis to Scrivener is called Ulysses. Again, a story planning and word processing tool. Again, to be used, especially if you are on the Mac system and you've got all the iPhone, iPad, Mac um, products, this can be really helpful for you as well. It's a really pared down, streamlined sort of interface. And so it doesn't have a lot of distractions, but take a look at it. Ultimately, as I said at the beginning, my goal for you is to get you from start to finish with as much ease and joy as possible. Do you need a software to do that? Not really, but could it potentially be helpful? Absolutely. So go check out the ones that I've listed here and I've talked a little bit about. If you know of another uh, software that you think is amazing, you've used it before, please share in the comments, let me know. Or have you used one and thought, why did I spend my money on that? Let's have a discussion about it. Of course, as every time, if you've got a question you want me to answer on a future Writerly Wednesday, please pop it into the comments, send me a message, or you can always email me, anjanette at storyaslife.com. Until next time, I will see you then. I hope you have a beautiful writerly week. Bye.